Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna build this up. Oh, oh, what the? Wait, what? 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 What am I getting? What? Where is he? I don't see a wither skeleton. What the heck? Like, what was that? There was no wither skeleton there. I would have attacked it if there was. What the? There's like an invisible skeleton here. Okay, well, that's really bad because that's literally like an invisible skeleton or something. We're getting out of there because that's really messed up. However, that's allowed to happen. What the? What the heck? Like, what the actual heck? What? What the hell? What the actual hell just happened? That was literally a what? Like, what? 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 Like, like, what, what, what was that? Oh, now you appear. Okay, that makes sense. So you literally were invisible. Thanks for screwing me over, asshat. Sorry for my anger there, but I'm just really not happy about that. Hey guys, and CSFan001 here for part number uh, 32 of Let's Play Minecraft PS4. Uh, last time, I don't particularly remember last time, I think we just went on a hunt for weather skeleton skulls and endermen, and I think we actually got one of those skulls in that video. Uh, this time, we are going to start out by enchanting this diamond sword to its full potential, or close to its full potential. This is actually my second take, or third take now of this video, and I'll get to that in just a second. I feel like I need to burp. Uh, first, we're going to put that in, though. Oh, wait, we already enchanted it? Oh, well. Wait a minute. I know exactly what happened there. That was not what I meant to even enchant in the first place, guys. Oh, man, I am so scatterbrained after what happened between videos. Like, I cannot wait. I will splice it in somewhere to show you guys exactly what happened in my second failed take of this. Because my first failed take, the recording, my computer crashed after a few minutes, like, really early into it. So, yeah, anyway, uh, then the second take, well, I'll remember to splice it in somewhere around here, and you'll see why I had to delete it, or why I didn't include it. So, we're gonna put that in, and a level 28, unbreaking, I don't want, unbreaking though, that's not really, is that really even that good? Like, it's not gonna break in the fight. Huh, can it only give me that? Well, I'll put power one on it for now, but maybe I can get something better later on. I'll try to get something better on it later on. But anyway, what I also wanted to show off in this video is I made this anvil in my first failed recording. Basically, you take four iron blocks and... No, three iron blocks and four iron ingots to do it. Then you just put uh, your two items, which are generally two of the same item... Spend a little bit of enchantment cost, you can name your item as well, and you can repair it. So, very, very cool feature there. Uh, so let's drop back down here, and we're going to drop that stuff off. So now, uh, barring that last failed take, which was just total BS, but really, really funny at least, when it happened. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I didn't enjoy it because it meant I had to basically restart because I didn't really want to lose all the XP that I had because I eventually want to enchant more stuff like armor. I just went up there because I wanted to grab more food because we certainly are going to need more food while we're down in the nether. That was going to be a problem. Uh, we're going to jump right on in and we're going to try to find that last elusive wither skull. And then, in future videos, we will hunt down the Endermen again. And we'll probably go to... Actually, no. Probably, before we hunt down Endermen again, we'll probably go to another cave and explore another cave. Because it's been a while since we've explored a cave, and we could use more iron and gold in the future. So, I think it would probably be better to do that soon. Hello, Mr. Blaze, and you're just getting in the way. I'm not even going to deal with you. Now watch me get it, like, first try this time or something. I would laugh so hard and be very, very, very happy. Weather Skeleton. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. You jumped down to greet me, apparently. I was not expecting that. 
And I put all my other stuff away as well, so that's why I don't have that much in the inventory. And like any fall in this dimension is going to hurt you just because you can't put water down to cushion the fall. So that's quite unfortunate. Uh, let's see, there is a with a skeleton down this path. Come here. Come here. Oh, you infected me. That's not good. And you just gave me bones, which is also not helpful. Okay, uh, we're good. So let's run on back. And we got two blazes spawning right in the middle of the path, which really I don't care about because we don't even need any more blaze powder or blaze rods. So we're just going to avoid them as best as we can. And I saw another weather skeleton or two. Excellent. Come here, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. And I'm going to start beating you up now. And what did he drop? Just coal and bones again, of course. Always useless. Don't need any of that crap. But that's all it ever likes to give to me. Because this game likes to see me suffer. And have multiple failed takes of trying to survive in the nether. Hello. You need to die. Oh, wow. He's blocked by the fire. That's cool. And then he just walks around it. More bones. Don't need those at all. And there was another one up top, I believe. Either that or he just dropped down to greet me a second ago. I think he just dropped down to greet me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Getting murdered out here. What I may eventually do is if this keeps taking a really long time and I keep having no success trying to obtain these remaining skulls, I may just go on, like, literally, like, a two-hour-long recording just on the capture card and probably do a voiceover, like, later on and just try to make it go a little bit faster so you guys aren't stuck watching effectively the same thing for a really, really long period of time because I, don't, I doubt that anyone really wants to watch this for a long period of time just watching the same monotonous attempt to get an item over and over again. Come here, skull, or wither skeleton. Please give me a skull. Can you even, can you not even fit through here? Oh, you need to uh, lose some weight then. I probably need to lose some weight too, but not in game. Anyway, uh, there's probably, yep, there's one right over there. And I think I saw a few up top and oh, this is, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Will you just die, please? Thank you. That was close. That was close. And I doubt they gave me anything. Of course not. I got glowstone dust and bones. Nothing that I actually need. Couldn't have even given me the courtesy of a stone sword so I could last longer out here without having to build one myself. I saw one down there. Good thing we got some food, though. Good thing we got food. Uh, that's a lot of freaking enemies. And a ghast. Oh, this... You should have seen, like, the amount of gas shots that happened in the last video. I also managed to get, like, what would be the return to sender achievement if I didn't already, or trophy, if I didn't already have it. Because I got that, I sent a fireball back at a gas and killed it with it, which was kind of awesome. If only you could have gotten to see it. If only I hadn't have been gangbanged by a fake wither skeleton or whatever it was in that video. Jeez, that was just, that was so ac- Oh, oh, oh! There we go. That's the skull. All right, we've got them all. Now, just need to uh, safely exit the nether. Okay, just need to safely exit the nether. We have all three of our skulls. Now, we're going to run out and hopefully never come back. Never have to look back. There's another one. I'm not even going to bother with it going to try to run and get out of here as fast as possible. Okay, we're in the tunnels. We're in the tunnels. That's good. So just keep sprinting. Just keep on sprinting and we will be okay. Everything will be okay. We did it, guys. We got all three wither skeleton skulls. They were difficult to get and time-consuming. Pig, you should probably leave here before you get killed by an invisible wither skeleton. And three, two, one. We are safe. Finally, hopefully never have to go back in that dreaded place ever again. I am very, very happy now, guys, because we finally got it. 
We finally got that last skull. And we got some other stuff too, blaze rods and glowstone dust and everything. Uh, we'll drop those off in there. We will take this and... Oh wait, not there. Uh, I meant to put the coal in there. And these bones, I guess I'll drop off in here for now. Find somewhere better to put them later on. Alright guys, we did it. That's all three wither skeleton skulls, which means we can construct a wither whenever we want. Well, one wither can't construct multiple. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to think of what would be the best thing to do now because it's already running on like nine minutes and I kind of want to start breeding more chickens just so that I can try to get the uh, materials for arrows because we're going to need more arrows later on. Uh, yeah, I might as well do that. Try to breed a couple of chickens. Well, we don't really have enough seeds, though. Maybe just wait and do that later on. Chickens, you two can mate right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we can go ahead and go on our next cave expedition. Uh, let's get that out. We need that. We're going to need that and that and that and all of that. Don't need the fishing rod, though, but we should need everything else. Let's see, I got three swords, and yeah, that, that's fine. But now I need some pickaxes. We got enough wood, I believe. I think we've got enough of everything except maybe food. Uh, let's grab a little bit more food while I'm here. Not that much food. We don't need quite that much. Okay, we got that. So I think it's time to head out on a little expedition to a nearby cave, actually. I remember seeing a cave very close to here. And since it's nighttime, maybe we'll try to find an Enderman first. If we are lucky, we can find an Enderman first. Anyway, just going to jump all over here. And that's where Creeper blew up earlier in our adventure, like five videos ago, I think, or something like that. Oh, yeah, I meant to explain this in this video because I explained it in the past video, but of course you didn't get to see it is my allergies slash cold are still acting up because all of a sudden it got really warm here. And because of that, I now have allergies and a cold. And it's it's just not pleasant. I freaking hate that, that about this time of year. Like, I certainly don't mind spring at all, especially in the south because it's pretty warm down here during the spring and not, like, blistering hot and humid like in the summer. But I don't like the allergies because of the pollen because I'm sort of badly allergic to the pollen. I feel like... Not, like, badly, badly allergic, like you can be the chocolate or whatever, but it's just not a pleasant situation. And we're gonna, we're gonna actually wait out up here for a few minutes at nighttime, and we're gonna see if anything comes by. Uh, we'll put that sort of away, pull that out, and we'll go ahead and mine this coal, because we're right here. Nice and close by, so might as well get it while we can. All right, nighttime is coming. I think the last time we were out at night, we got kind of uh, screwed over because it was raining. So no Endermen were spawning. Uh, where do I see anything out tonight? I can build like a castle up here, something the way it's set up. No, I'm not really seeing any Endermen, so might as well just dive on into the cave. That's... And this is a cave I believe we found in the last video, actually. And all that stuff is over there. So we're going to start searching it out and see if we can find any materials. Because we might need more iron and gold if we're going to start constructing rail lines. Of course, we will also be looking for the rare materials, like diamonds and emeralds, which are completely useless, as well as lapis and redstone. Neither, I don't know if we're really going to need that much more lapis, though, because we have a ton of lapis, and I was always thinking that lapis, it would take a decent amount to enchant anything, but it doesn't require very much lapis to enchant, so we really don't, it's still kind of useless as an item because we really don't need a whole lot of it. So we're not going to focus as heavily on lapis, that's probably the least important, followed by redstone and then emeralds. We're mainly looking for iron, gold, and diamonds. And maybe coal. We might need more coal. Coal's always good to have. So yeah, time to explore a cave. Uh, let's see. Oh, creeper, creeper, creepy creeper, creepy creeper, creeper Stein. 
Uh, he's gonna blow up, yep. Didn't do anything to me though. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, I see some iron over here and some light. Is that lava? Yes, it is. Uh, well, that could be quite dangerous. We don't want that there. We don't want to burn ourselves. Oh, great. That's really where I meant to place that. And there we go. Okay, we're going to mine this iron. And I think that piece is lost because it fell down, of course. Huh, okay, the way that lava's running down, I really want to check that area out. I just want to look around this corner and everything first. God, I'm used to having my map and my torch on the other side of my inventory, not on the right side. I usually have it on the left side. And I saw, yep, I think I saw a piece of iron here. Let's take it. One measly piece of iron. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we'll explore in that area later on, maybe. What do we have down here? We have another way down, apparently, that leads to nothing. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Maybe I'll seal that off. Actually, yeah, I'd, pro I'd probably better just seal that off. So I don't end up wasting time trying to walk back down there or something. This is a strategy I think I've shown you guys before that I like to use in caves. Sometimes seal areas off just uh, so I don't end up wasting time or resources going back down them. And I saw that piece of iron over there, but it looks like nothing else up here. So I will probably seal this area off as well, just because I don't want to waste time in the future. It might seem kind of pointless, but I think it, it serves me a purpose because it makes it a little bit easier for me to navigate. So, yeah. Well, there's a piece of coal right there, but that's really about it. So don't really need anything else. And we'll seal that off. So no entry into that section ever again. So we're kind of clear that way. Makes the cave feel just a little bit smaller and easier to navigate. Uh, let's dive down here, and there is literally nothing. Of course, literally nothing down here. God, I would have thought that that uh, whole lava flow would have... Oh, uh, that could have been bad, because apparently I didn't cover the source block. I didn't cover it there either. Now I did. That could have been extremely bad if I... I love how I just handled that without even, like, saying anything. Like, yeah, this could be very bad. Okay, it stopped. Okay, we're running on, like, 16 minutes, so probably going to stop soon. Because, yeah, like, when, when it comes to recording length, I know I can record, like, as long as I want and have videos as long as I want. The problem is that the capture card and everything, these files are a lot bigger per, like, minute in terms of like gigabytes and stuff than the old uh, camera was. So that's part of the reason I have to do it this way and not have super, super long videos because I can't really, It ha I have a lot more difficulty editing, or not even editing, just uh, exporting the videos out of Adobe Premiere Pro because that's my editing software. It might be because my computer is just uh, a little full on memory right now, I don't know. I could probably run it right at a longer time. I might test it some when I get a chance over the summer and everything, just see how long of a video it can actually export safely. My assumption is it probably starts to overheat or something, so I might need to switch out like the power supply or something. Might be my best option for it. Uh, let's get that. That's the only other piece down there. And let's see, we got that way. We can explore this way a little bit. It doesn't look like there's anything else over here, actually, so we'll check it out. Oh, wait, maybe there is. Okay, never mind. There's actually... Oh, yeah, there's a lot more down here. Okay. Uh, where... Man, this is a... Yeah, I picked a good cave, though. This is a big cave. This area was very big, actually. And, yeah, looks like a whole chasm-style area. And that skeleton is going to be kind of annoying, so we're just going to back out and let him come to us, and then we'll probably end the video. Skeleton, get out of here. You're not cool. Okay, guys, I think that's a pretty good stopping point. So we made a ton of progress in this video. We collected that last skull, which is awesome, and we started mining more materials down here. We've already got 27 iron. So hope you guys enjoy the video, and see you for the next one.